Uh, my name is John Brammer. I'm the Chief Financial Officer at Sea Lanes. BI has certainly given us an edge. Um, we, uh, we feel that we're fairly advanced in, in the technology we're using within our, within our warehouse environment and, and then with, with the business intelligence on top of that to, to really leverage that information. Um, we are in a cost competitive market. We, we sell um, food, so we're selling the same uh, product, the same baked beans and the same chips as, as our competitors. We need to do so um, ideally at a, at, a, at a combination of a, or either a better price or a better service or with, with better efficiencies uh, within our business uh, to, to, to do it at a lower cost if we're going to beat, up, beat our competition. And I think well, I'm very confident now um, that by understanding the costs within our, within our warehouse, um, we can be much more competitive uh, in terms of beating our competitors who don't, who don't, who don't have that edge, who don't know um, precisely what it costs them to do business, who therefore can't um, quote new business um, as, as competitively as we can, or certainly w without as much certainty as we can, um, and, and that's going to be a huge advantage for us going forward. Um, BI and Sea Lines, the, the next is w w we're on a continuous improvement um, um, trajectory. I mean, there's still plenty of things that we can do um, with business intelligence to improve um, the knowledge within our business. Um, we are continuing to expand our understanding of the operations. Uh, we have recently um, put a, a new um, track tracking and um, tasking system in place and we're already starting to gather the, gather the data together for that that we can then an analyze in, in bus um, using business intelligence. So just, just within that project alone, we intend to then understand which, uh, how long it takes to deliver to customers, which customers uh, take longer to deliver to, for example, versus which are, are very quick to deliver to. Again, we can then use that to refine our understanding of the real cost of servicing individual customers so that we're not looking at our business in terms of generalisms, but we're looking at our, our, our customers in terms of their speci specific attributes. And if, and if a customer's very um, quick to deliver to, then we should be charging them potentially a lower price than a customer who is very time consuming, um, time um, um, uh, intensive to deliver to. Sim similarly, those customers that don't um, perform in terms of being there to make the deliveries. I mean, w we are very conscious of our um, uh, our service attributes and we're very conscious of measuring um, how we're performing but customers also have a major a major base um, a major impact on, on how we how we can perform uh, not only for that customer but for, for, for in terms of the impacts on other customers so by understanding which customers which are the good customers and which are the not so good customers again we can then make um, decisions and take actions that will benefit both our customers and, and, and the business.